Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show how to create a clouds. So let us create a geometry node and just we'll go inside and we'll create a sphere. And after this, we will uh, create a cloud node. So just we will select this and we will create a cloud node and just we'll connect to this. And we will add a bit more details to this cloud. Uh, so in order to do that, just we need to select this cloud. And here you can see there is an option like uniform sampling. So in this, uh, we can put it to like by size. So here we can uh, like decrease the value here. So let's say we will put it to like 0 0.01 or something. So now see it has been increased the details of this uh, cloud. So you can change these values according to your requirement, how much density you want. And now this cloud is very uniform. Uh, so what we want is like, we want to create a different kind of shape for these clouds. Uh, so in order to do that, we can go to this scatter shape here. And also like if you come down, you can add the secondary shapes here. And see now it has been created a secondary shape. So here, if you want to increase and decrease this size here, you can come down and you can use this option like shape size here. So we can increase. So if you want to increase the size, see, you can increase the size. So it is too much now. So let's say we'll put up to like 0.1 or something. So now we will add a little bit more details for this cloud. So in order to do that, we can take another node called cloud noise. So just double click on tab and we'll search for cloud noise and just connect to this here. And just enable this. So see now we got a bit more detail for this cloud. So if you want to spread it more uh, in this cloud noise, we can use this amplitude. So just we can increase this. So see now it is spreading more. Now we got this basic shape for this cloud here. And now what the thing is the cloud is like round shape. So and now we have to change the size of this sphere so that it will look more like a cloud shape here. So in order to do that, we can go to this uh, sphere here. So just will increase the radius in like x axis, let's say, like if I put it to like one or something. So, see, now we got a more like a cloud shape here. So, if you want to create a random shape for this, so in cloud noise, we can use this uh, like a element size, you can increase and decrease so that it will change the shape of this size. See, now we got a more like a random small pieces. And also we can use the box, uh, for example, we will take a box here and just I will turn on the display flag and now we can increase the size here. Uh, so I can increase in like X axis and just I can decrease in like Y axis in this way and we'll take a cloud node and just enable this. So after that, we'll make a settings here. Uh, so just I will enable this. Now it has been converted into cloud and here we can increase number of samples here, uh, let's say so we'll put up to like 300. So now we'll add a cloud noise. Uh, so just I will add cloud noise and select this and just we will uh, increase number of amplitude. Uh, so just let's say we'll put up to like 0 0.6 or something. So we got this beautiful shape here. And also we can create the cloud shape by using the fog volume. Uh, so I will show that. So I will take VDB from polygon from this box here. Uh, so just I will drag this and search for VDB from polygons. So just I will connect it to box and I will show this. And now in this settings, uh, we have to disable this distance VDB and we have to enable this fog VDB. So just we'll decrease this voxel size. Uh, so let's say 0 0.01 or something. So we'll take another node, search for volume visualization. So select this and connect to this node. And just we'll increase the density scale uh, to like 10 or something. So now we'll add noise for this. Uh, so we can take another node called as volume noise fog. So select this and connect to here. So still we didn't get this noise here. Uh, so what the thing is in volume fog here operation, we need to put this to multiply. So instead of add, we have to select this option. So now we got this shape here. And now the density is continuous. Uh, so what the thing is just here, we can use this amplitude to increase the density. And also here, instead of positive, we can put it to like zero center. So now we will get actual cloud shape here. And also here we can decrease this element size so that you will get more random shape. And also we will increase the size of this box here. Uh, so just we will select this box and also just we will use this size here. So just we can increase in the X axis. And now you see, if you see from the bottom, you can see it is looking like actual clouds. And if you want to add more density, uh, we can go to this node here and just we can increase this density scale. Let's say we can put up to like 20 or something so that it will increase the density of this cloud. And also we can play with these values like uh, amplitude, we can increase. 
So just you will get more details. And also we can play with this element size. So just, it depends on your requirement, uh, like uh, how much size you want to maintain uh, for this cloud. So you can use this element size. And also if you want to increase and decrease the uh, density of this shadow, we can use this uh, volume visualizations. And here you can see there is an option like uh, shadow scale, you can decrease or increase. So if you want like more like whitish color, then we can decrease the shadow color. And if you want more darker, then we can increase the shadow density. And in case, suppose if you want to convert these clouds into polygons again, so we can take like convert VDB. So just we can take this node, convert VDB, and we have to select this. And here in this, uh, we need to select this convert volume to like polygons. So now see it has been converted into polygons, but the faces are in the reverse direction here. Uh, so just we can take a reverse node. So just we can take reverse node and just connect to this. And now say we got the correct faces. So in this way, we can create the clouds here. Uh, so like if you go to this here now, so this is looking like more realistic here. And also we have created this sphere kind of shape. And in this way, we can make a copies and we can place uh, wherever you want here. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next lesson.